There are many reasons to be using a raw file format as opposed to a JPEG file format. One of the reasons is banding, because JPEGs can't handle the same amount of colors as RAW can, as well as the JPEG's compression algorithm that continues to damage the image each and every time you resave it. But when we're talking about the camera itself taking an image in a RAW versus taking an image in a JPEG, one of the biggest differences between the two of them is the amount of data that is retained in the file that allows us to come back from really bad situations. A very common problem are blowouts inside of your images. So if you look at this image right here, the entire front of her body is being blown out to white. Now, with a JPEG, we might be able to do something to try and save it. We're never going to be able to get the same great results that we can from a camera raw. So let me give you an example. If I take this image and I simply say open, it opens it up inside of Photoshop as a pixel-based image. The best way I can think of to try and correct this is to use curves. And if I take the curves and I pull down, which is darkening, as you can see, we start getting details back inside of her chest, but we've completely lost the rest of her face. This type of thing starts involving masking and making a big production about trying to save it. Now, another way I can think of off the top of my head to try and save this is perhaps with exposure. But I can all but guarantee this isn't going to work very well either, because as you can see, all it did was gray it up, because it didn't bring back the detail within the flesh. So that certainly didn't work either. Uh, offhand, I really can't think of much more I can do to try and save this as a regular pixel based image without going into the raw processor in order to fix it. So rather than working on this image as a pixel based image, I'm going to close it and instead bring over the raw image, which is now going to open up inside of Camera Raw, which is built into Photoshop. You want to know how complicated it is to actually fix this? Problem solved. You want to get a little bit more detail? I can do this. And there you go. That, that's about all that was needed to salvage this image, was to simply pull down the highlights and pull down the whites as well. We try and avoid the whites because it's going to add gray. It's going to gray it up. But if you are too blown out and you really need to try and salvage that, then this is most definitely the way to do this. And if I do before and after, it seems a little heavy up here. But if I do a before and after, you can see how much detail we've retained, as well as in her chest. Now that's absolutely huge. So let me give you another example of this. Now this image is also suffering a bit along the shoulder. But most notably are these diamonds that are completely blown out. Now inside of Photoshop, I could probably bring back a fair amount of this, but with N Camera Raw, it is so easy to just simply grab a slider and pull it down. All that detail is brought back. There is no headache, no hassle, no mess, no problem, and it is so easy to do. I don't have to create masks. I don't have to manipulate colors. Everything I need is right here within Camera Raw. Now this image has a double problem, where the whites are a little bit too blown out and the darks are a little bit too dark. So let me show you how quick and easy this is to fix inside of Camera Raw. As you've seen me do a couple times now, if I grab the highlights and bring them down, Detail comes back into the umbrella. As well as this building here. But now what about this dark? I, I can kind of see some detail, and I know there's something in there, but how do we bring that back? Well, that's easy. Grab the shadow slider and pull it up. Look at all that detail that came back from just opening up the shadows.
And because I opened up those shadows and it looks a little bit exposed, I'll grab the blacks and darken them down a little bit. And that just kind of fills in with the density that I took away. So if you look at this image as a before and after, you should be able to clearly see huge changes in the image, all this detail that was brought back. You can see the detail in the building. You can also see more detail being brought back in, inside the sky. You can look at the water fountain, all that detail that gets brought back in, as well as the umbrella. And the beauty of Camera Raw is that it's so quick and easy, anybody can learn to do it in just a few minutes.